ladies and gentlemen, Michael Mathis. What is up, M2 crew? Welcome back. And the pink tutus are the theme for 2017 Wattoberfest. So I thought, what better way to uh, film this video than holding this pink tutu ransom from a team 5.30 a.m. Um, on Friday who wore them. And also Josh Castle who wore the pink tutu. So a lot of the uh, the menly men busting out the pink tutu. So I thought, hey, I might as well wear it too. So Looks good. Thank you, Chris. No I problem. appreciate that. Yeah, it's a beautiful tutu. Um, Actually, I'm pretty sure this one was homemade, uh, homemade by uh, Rochelle Manley. She made them for the whole 530M team. I know, very nice, very nice. So, all right, we are back for week two Oktoberfest in holy beep. This week has a lot of action happening. I'm talking a lot of stuff. So week one were some surprises. Um, overall, everyone crushed it. What's behind this board here is going to be something we're going to share with you at the end of this live video. It is week one one's results and team standing. So, without further ado, one more thing I wanna tell you. Don't forget about the Halloween party. It's Friday, November 3rd at 8 p.m. at Alexandria's in the downstairs ballroom. It is gonna be a riot. We're gonna have a DJ playing the latest dance party beats. We are gonna have kombuchas, green juices, adult beverages, costumes are mandatory, um, some snacks, some food snacks, and be sure to wear a masquerade costume and his masquerade ball, um, so we'll see you there for that. Real quick before I dive in, anybody on the show yet? James St. Clair? James St. Clair. Somebody else, Okay. Doesn't tell me. Awesome, so glad to see you, James St. Clair, he's just in here working out this morning. He loves morning. your tutu. Thank you, James, I saw you wearing it Friday, I loved yours too, I appreciate the love there. Um, okay, a lot to explain this week. We're gonna have four different events happening. That's right, four different events, all in an hour. A lot of cool stuff, so we're gonna bust through these, all right? Event number one, pretty basic. I'll just go into the details. You're not gonna need much demoing here, all right? Event number one, each team member will have three minutes to complete max effort jump rope. You can select and nominate to do single unders or double unders. You must tell your judge prior to your three minutes what type you're gonna be doing, singles or doubles. All right, and you must maintain the singular double for the full three minutes. Now, how the scoring works on this, or if you choose to do double unders for three minutes, you will get three points per double under. If you choose to do single unders for three minutes, you will get one point per single under. So it's your choice and your team strategy on how you think you're gonna get the most amount of points. All right, this workout is for a team total of points. All right, now, um, We'll add, there's a fly in my eye, sorry. We'll add up all of the team points and then at the end you'll get your team score, all right? Now, three minutes each partner, there is gonna be 15 seconds of transition time. So it'll be um, like a 13 minute workout to say, all right? Done. From there, moving on to wad number two. All right, let's hope the weather's good um, because if not, bring your raincoats. But we're gonna be out actually in the grass by the Red Roof Inn. Um, we're demoing here inside today just because the weather was, it's kind of rainy and windy out, so it wasn't gonna make the most sense. Um, so you'll be able to hear us a lot better in here. Uh, but we're gonna break out the Atlas Stones, compliments of Dawn Rotoball. All right, now, over here you're gonna see several different weights of Atlas Stones. Um, don't let these big guys scare you here. We're not gonna use them. All the Atlas Stones we're gonna use this week are gonna be the 40 pounders. Um, that's gonna be regardless of, of male or female. So 40 pound Atlas Stone. Here's how it's gonna work. Outside over by the Red Roof Inn, we're gonna have lined on the grass, a 50 meter, all right, 50 meter track to say. And we're gonna have a line every one meter. So we'll have 50 total lines. How this workout is gonna work is all four partners are gonna start on the same end of this 50 meter line, all right? So partner one, partner two, partner three, and partner four, all right? This workout is gonna be for time, but there is a 20 minute time cap, all right? So you gotta hustle. How this is gonna work, on the part, upon three, two, one, go, partners number one and number two are gonna start doing an atlas ground to shoulder toss. How this is gonna work is partner one are gonna place their heels on the line. This is gonna be moving backwards. Partner one takes the Atlas Stone, they pick it up, they drop it over their shoulder. All right, they get out of the way. Partner two then steps up with their heels on the line, they grab the Atlas Stone, they pick it up to their shoulder, they put it over. Partner then one is back in line, they grab the Atlas Stone, heels on the line, pick it up over their shoulder. Partner then two is back in line, and they do this for the full 50 meters. Now, each partner will end up doing 25 reps. Now, 
Here's where it gets good. Partner one and two just crossed the 50 meter line. They just completed all of their ground to shoulder. Partner three and four are still down at the start line. Doesn't matter which partner, but partner one is gonna pick the ball up. Partner two is gonna stay here. Hope this makes sense. They're gonna run the Atlas Stone 50 meters and give it to partner three. Partner three then takes the Atlas Stone, runs it back down here, gives it to partner one. Partner one then takes the Atlas Stone, runs it down here, gives it to partner four. Partner three is down there. Partner four then takes it and runs back down here. Upon that, partner three and partner four then start doing the Atlas ground to shoulder. Partner three steps up, same rules apply. They pick it up, toss it over the shoulder, get out of the way. Partner four then steps up, heels on the line, grabs it, throws it over the shoulder, gets out of the way and they go the full 50 meters. Now, if the ball happens to get tossed and it rolls over this line, all the partners have to do is move the ball above the line, get their feet set, and continue, all right? Each one of these segments is gonna be a rep. Now, upon a time cap, that's also how the workout would be scored, all right, is how many reps they get done um, if there is a time cap on it. Now, partner three and partner four do this the full distance. When partner three and partner four cross, the finish line, time, all right? You'll have a team time on that for an overall accumulative time. So anybody who's watching this video right now, if you have questions on anything that I'm saying, please post them right now. That way I can address them um, and Mr. Cedar here can answer the question. So, so far, is everybody good? Thumbs up maybe, a couple hearts on this? Okay, nothing, love it. All right, makes me feel really good about this video. Um, <laughs> so that is workout number two. All right, upon this, we're gonna have to hustle team. So we get outside, we get inside, all right? Next is gonna start workout number three, all right? Let's meet right here before we get into it, all right? Workout number three is going to be an AMRAP of 12 minutes. So it's gonna be a 12 minute AMRAP, all right? How this is gonna work is this is also teams of two and two, all right? This is gonna be a partner deadlift plus partner burpee box jump. Oh, burpee box jump or burpee box step. Lovely movements, one of my favorites, not. Um, here's what we're doing, all right? Partner one and two go. These can be two different partners than, than what just did the workout. It doesn't matter, guy, girl, 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 doesn't matter, right? Three reps, they're gonna do three partner deadlifts. We're gonna show you those here at 95 pounds. Then they're gonna do three partner synchronized burpee box jumps or steps. And I'll explain what we're looking for there. Then partners three and four go, three reps at 95 pounds and three burpee box jumps. Then the weight increases to 105 pounds for six reps and six burpee box jumps. Partners one and two and three and four go. Then the weight increases to 115 pounds at nine reps. Then 12 reps at 125, 15 and 135, 18 and 145, you get the idea. The reps go up three reps each round the weight goes up 10 pounds each round. All right, now, Mr. Cedar and I are gonna do a great partner deadlift demo for you here upon how this workout is gonna work. So on pound of three, two, one, go, partner one and two are gonna do this. Any questions on there, Chris? Uh, no questions that I see Any so good far. comments on there yet? Uh, just the two, two, how much it looks. Oh yeah, see yeah. thanks guys, appreciate that, that looked great. Okay, so this is partner one and two, they're doing a synchronized deadlift, two partners gonna be on the bar. This is gonna be a male 45 pound barbell, loaded to start with 95 pounds, free weights will be at the side of the barbell, or the weights not on the bar, they'll be adding through this AMRAP, all right? Mr. Cena and I can grip the bar however we want, doesn't matter, all right? Both plates must start on the floor. We stand up, shoulders are back at the top. That is one. We lower down, we touch the ground. We pick it up all the way. That is two. We lower down, touch the ground, we pick it up all the way. That is three. We lower down to the ground. We are good to go now to the burpee box jumps, all right? From here, what's going to happen? This is an immediate transition. Partners three and four are still standing over here waiting for us. So. Men, you will use a 24 inch box. Ladies, you will use a 20 inch box, all right? When the group of two girls go, all you're gonna do is flip this box to 20 inches, and then when the group of men go, you'll flip it back to 24. Doesn't matter who flips the box or when. Girls, if you wanna do 24 inch box jumps, be my guest, you don't have to, but you can if you want, if you don't wanna worry about flipping the box. So, from here, what you're going to do, synchronized 
partner Murphy box jumps. Both partners will start standing. Both partners' hands will go down to the ground. They'll either step back or kick back. Both partners' chest and thighs will touch the ground. From here, both partners get up, they jump up. Both partners are now standing. Partners can either opt to jump or step. It doesn't matter, they just need to land at the top. At the same time, both partners will stand up fully, step down, that's one. Both partners then, chest and thighs touch at the same time. They jump up, they jump up, they land on top at the same time, they step down at the same time, all right? If partners are off sync, it'll be a no rep, all right? You can choose to step or jump, whatever is better for you to these boxes. Any questions there? Okay, what partner one and two are then gonna do, they're running over here, they tag, they must, yes, tag. Partner three and four, that activates partner three and four to then start. Partner one and two are just resting here looking good. Partner three and four start their three burpee, or sorry, their three partner deadlifts and their three synchronized burpee box jumps. Upon partner three and four finishing that, anybody can change the weight. They strip the bars, they load it up with new weight. They're good to go. Partners one and two, you can change the weight while your next partners are doing burpee box jumps. Or sorry, while your partners are finishing their burpee box jumps. That is A-OK. -okay. Whew, what workout was that? Number three? That was three. Okay, so three down, one to go. And the last one is our wild card. Hmm. All right, so on to the wild card. I need to change rules for this. So wild card is going to get serious again, all right? We're continuing our um, theme of if foods, how much is in it, what's healthy, what's not, questionable items, right? Because I think there's a lot of nutrition content, food out there, um, whether it's fast food or store-bought food that is sometimes disguised or hidden as healthy or not healthy, and maybe you think it is, and really it's not. So we're gonna use a classic book called Eat This, Not That. You might have heard of it, but they have a, many different varieties of books um, from ice cream, desserts, to fast food, to chips, to sodas, they have a bunch. So we're gonna take the Eat This, Not That book, and shout out to Eat This, Not That, guys, all right? What we're gonna do is you're gonna have five minutes, all right, and we're gonna ask you five different eat this, not that verses, all right? And you're gonna have a minute to decide amongst your team what is the healthier option and then submit it to us. Then next minute, minute two, you'll get the next, um, the next eat this, not that question, minute three, three, minute four, four, minute five, five. How this is scored is gonna be out of five points. So you're either gonna get maybe three out of five, two out of five, one out of five, five out of five, whatever it's gonna be, all right? And that's gonna overall be your team score for this week. Any questions so far on anything I just explained from V? First thing that we had, which was the double unders, to the Atlas Stone Wad, to the synchronized per deadlifts and burpee box jumps, to the eat this, not that game. Not that I see so far. Okay, awesome. Remember guys, if you have questions, please post them here, because more than likely somebody else will also have the question. How many people do we have watching? We had uh, 10, okay. right now we awesome. have six. Awesome. Um, also, sometimes I can't see comments until the end of the video, so right. we will answer the questions. Perfect. Uh, later cool we'll type them in yep. okay so who's ready to see the week one final results I am I am I am okay here we go week three final or sorry week one final results are you ready M2 crew drum roll here we go would you look at that just look at it so we have a couple things here I'm going to identify James St. Clair, yeah, let's go. Nori, Mark Gable, what up, what up? Castle. Shoot me some likes and some hearts, friends. Hit the heart button on there a bunch of times. It makes me feel really good about myself. The more social media comments and likes and hearts I get, the, the better I sleep at night. So thanks, guys. Okay, that's a joke. All right, here's what we're doing. Teams on the left side in alphabetical order, all right? Wild card in the wad. If there's an X, it equals three points, all right? Remember how the workouts were scored. They were for overall time. Or sorry, yeah, overall time, overall time. All right, so we have here, barbells and bros, total time, boot crew, total time, booties and the beast, burpees for beer, rep eaters, sour snatch kids, the dominators, the worth, wad did we get into? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, it's funny. All right, so here's overall times for the workout. Only two teams got our wild card right, all right? It was pretty tricky this week, so shout out to those two teams. Now, you get three points for that in your overall place for the time. So three points in place, oh. three points in place would give them 11 total team points, all right? Three points in place here would give them 10 total team points, all right? 
Three points in place here would give them four total team points. Now, here under week two, you see the overall rankings so far from first to, there's a tie, so eighth. All right, because there's teams who tied on the, two teams tied for third, all right? So this will be your overall place. Now, this will change as of week two. We'll put weeks one scores in here, and overall place will go into week three, so on and so forth till the end, all right? I, it shows you how important the wild card is. Yeah, the wild, that's a really good point, because the teams with the wild card right now both stepped in. They got really good places, and, you know, that's one thing about Wattoberfest that we really try and um, really express to people is like, yeah, it's a, it's a workout competition, it's exercise competition, but really, it's a team camaraderie, it's a team communication, and it's not just for those who are the most super fit, that comes in really handy, but it's also for people who know their sugar, they are, they're paying attention to foods, they're, they're doing these alternative options where they can still contribute awesome to their team, and it really, it's all about the community to it all. Um, and that's really CrossFit in general. So, here's what we have. All right, first place right now, Beauties and the Beast coming in hot with 56 minutes and 29 seconds. All right, second place, Burpees for Beer at 57 minutes even. Third place, tied for third, Rep Eaters and the Dominators. Fourth place, what did we get into? All right, fifth place, Sour Snatch Kids. All right, sixth place, Boo Crew. Seventh, Barbell and Bro. Eighth, The Worth. And that's all we have. So. I hope you had fun it's in week the one. Wrath, the worth. Oh, the wrath. Sorry, I can't, obviously can't read. Um, sorry, guys, can't read. I had a little bit too much caffeine this morning. My tongue gets talking really fast. So that's it for week number one and two. We'll see you all Tuesday night at 745. Be sure to come and encourage those other Wattover Fest teams. If your team is going at a separate heat time, you want to come in, check out the action. You're more than welcome to. We encourage you to come in, support those who are still going. Or if you're Matt Croy, um, just you know, tell other teams to take it easy, relax a little bit. Don't go as hard on the row. Be sure to move slow on the thrusters, you know, all things like that. So Matt Croy definitely has great workout tips for you. <laughs> um, so uh, the 530 crew knows what I'm talking, 530 AM crew knows what I'm talking about. So let's go get it this week. Power up. We're in full-fledged and happy Wattoberfest.